everybody, Dr. Jamie here. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how to use tennis ball against the wall. This is one of my favorite ways to loosen up your upper back. I like to use two and I like to put them in a long sock. And the reason I like to do that is so I have a little bit of leverage. Plus this way, if I put the balls back here in their sock and they fall, I have to bend down and pick them up constantly. And this way I'm holding on to them. So, and I like two because I'd rather get two spots massaged than one. So um, we're gonna be working on the upper back. And you know those parts where you have your wing bones, right? And then just inside of the wing bones is where most of us get tight. So that's where I'm gonna put this. But first, let me explain to you how you wanna stand. So we're doing this against the wall. And I do not recommend a tiny little wall space like I have, but most of you have been to my office. I don't have a lot of empty wall space. So, um, oh, and that's another great thing about the sock. Tennis balls, if you have dogs, are gonna get pretty grimy and they'll make smudges on your wall. So the sock will keep things clean and you won't end up with a smudged up wall. So, body position. You wanna stand a good foot, maybe foot, and a half away from the wall. And the reason is because you're gonna lean back. That leaning back is gonna give you leverage. It's gonna give you some strength as you're massaging your upper back. So I'm gonna hold on with my left hand to get my right side. And I'm just gonna lean back up. And I put the tennis ball. It's between my spine and that wing bone. Lots of muscle in there. It's called the rhomboids are there and the trapezius. We're getting a little anatomy lesson here. These muscles always get tight because we're overstretched, because we're always doing forward activities. So the bottom tennis ball is about halfway up. And you can really put it wherever it feels good to you. This is definitely um, an individual activity. So you get it back there and the second tennis ball, I like to put more towards the top and so now I'm all ready. I'm standing about a foot away, foot and a half away from the wall, and I'm leaning back. And so people always ask me, should I go up and down side to side, or should I just lean back? And all of those are fine. You can wiggle the tennis ball around, and that feels great. You can wiggle the tennis ball side to side, and that also feels good. You can also find a spot and just lean your weight back. And in fact, if I want a little bit more um, pressure back on the tennis ball, I can push my feet into the floor and it just pushes my body back against the wall and feels fantastic. So the last part that I love about the two tennis balls, this, hopefully you can see this, is just at the top of my upper back, just almost to the neck. Now if I grab hold of this sock in both hands, and I pull it down and kind of forward. And again, this is something you have to play with. I'll start to feel that top tennis ball pushing down into my muscle. And that feels really good. Yep, that's perfect. You just find your spot and you can lean into it. It'll kind of hurt good is the way everybody describes it. And I would say that that's accurate. If it's hurting bad, you might be on the bone. You'll know when you're in the wrong spot. And so how long to stay on the tennis ball? When you start out, you know, try about 30 seconds, but you can build that up to, you know, a good couple of minutes on the spots that really need it. What will happen if you go too long is you're gonna get sore. And when you do that, you know, you've just overdone and just do a little bit less next time. It's great to warm up before you do this Great to do after exercise or a hot pack. Oh, that feels really good. I'm moving on to my favorite angle and that's the thing you wanna do. See, I'm gonna angle my body a little bit because that's where I need it. And that's what you wanna do. Just keep wiggling around until you've got it exactly right. And then when you're done with a spot, you just move things on. I'm gonna slide it down a little bit and do a lower spot. And this will work too in the low back, but we'll save that for another time.
Thanks so much, everybody.